How's it going, guys? Um, Tyron here from South Africa. <laughs> For those of you watching abroad. So I decided to give myself a lockdown project. Um, in South Africa, we have three months so far of lockdown. Uh, probably another two, three more to go. So I can't do any of my other hobbies. I decided to build a car. Oh, the one I got is in pretty good condition. Um, pretty much complete. I just got to put it together, torn in pieces at the moment. Uh, as you'll see in the montage at the moment, the bonnet's off, then it's on. Uh, then the doors are off and they're on. Um, yeah, shooting this is my first time, so let's see how it goes. But I plan to bring you guys the full breakdown of the build. Um, I've kind of skipped out the stripping and the cleaning up part. Um, I find this to be a bit boring. That's flipping boring. So, yeah, what you'll see from now is the, uh, the fixing of from pretty much from front to back, back to front. Like I said, not a lot of problems on this car, a little bit of rust. Uh, the cells coming through under the dash here where the water sits on top of the bonnet um, a little bit of dings and dents the quarter panels are all dimpled and dented but we'll fix those so yeah it's a nice little project it's purely DIY 100% I've built one before uh, it was a 71 Capri like 10 years ago with my dad in the backyard so it went okay. This one I've got a lot more time, a lot more space. My grandfather had one of these actually, so yeah, a little bit of a soft spot there. But um, my dad and I are going to build it. I've got a mate named Daniel. He's going to help me as well, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> He's the destroyer. He likes to break things apart. It's definitely not going to be stock 100% restoration. Uh, it's going to have some things like arches, um, rally style switches, just because they're cool. Uh, a couple of odds and sods that come out of rally cars, ideas that I've been researching. Um, but body lines and things, it's pretty much going to stay standard. Uh, it's going to stay that I like the shape, I like the, the flow of it. It actually comes with a, the original 1600 Kent cross flow motor, so I've got to put that together. Apparently, the pistons and everything have been re sleeved and re bored, so it's back to original, which is nice. Definitely going to be at some point upgrading it to a v6 a original ford v6 motor probably adding a weaver carb or a holly carb or something bigger get a little bit more power out of it but it's more a cruiser than it is a racer so a little bit of power burnout machine try to do some donuts with it i'll bring you all of that um yeah but for now i'm just gonna stick the 1600 in so i can drive it and enjoy it and then move it around so i don't have to push it around all day uh, it's in the garage out the garage in the garage out the garage so Building this from home, um, it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna get the V6 eventually. Hopefully, I can bring it in this series, uh, depending on if I can find a good one. This comes with the automatic gearbox, but I'm gonna try and trade that. So, if any of you guys want it, it's a 1600. No idea what the condition is. Apparently, it runs. Um, no idea. So, if you know a little bit about gearboxes, you're more than welcome to come check it out. Uh, I am getting the motor and the gearbox next week. So, yeah, let's. Uh, I'll let you. Know. I'll send. I'll put some. I'll put a video up of. And some pictures of what that looks like so you can have a look um and yeah i mean other than that pretty much it's got the long bench in it at the moment so might do a split seat might do a long bench might do brackets for both um, that's quite cool it's got a very classic rear dash it's, i think they call it a u dash if i'm not mistaken it came in the gt's gt car version and i think one or two years at this actual model uh so that's quite again quite classic it's different to your long dash that a lot of the Buckies or pickups kit. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be. I'm excited. Um, color options, I can't tell you yet, just yet. Uh, that's that's a little secret for the end. Keep you guys entertained for a while. Keep you guessing. Um, what color would you guys do it? I mean, classic cars have classic colors. Um, there's op it varies from matte to metallic to glass to pastel colors to purple. What's it? Plum crazy purple. Um, plum crazy they call it again it's a diy completely novice diy build i uh, don't have all the fancy tools and the benders and that kind of stuff so one or two things i might take in i'll take you on the journey with me to get it done right um, but we're going to try and do as much as possible on our own um, without with the tools that we have one or two tools that we're going to make um, and i'll show you the how to's on those things uh, and uh, yeah i hope you guys stay tuned and i hope you enjoy hope you enjoy the app.